Hello everyone, this is Molly Hitchcock, your certified health and wellness coach and personal trainer. So today I wanted to share some of my favorite stretches that I like to do, especially if you are sitting in a desk uh, you know, for long periods of time or maybe you're traveling around uh, to really help open up your posture, also get the body moving, blood flowing, um, it helps, you know, it creates endorphins, more positive mood, um, helps with productivity. And so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first one I like to do is called like the seated cat and cow move. So when you are seated here, sometimes when we are at the computer, we start to hunch over. So we need to really make the shoulder come back. So let's go ahead and roll those shoulders back. Taking a deep breath and then rolling forward. Exhale, and this will do this 10 times. Inhale, and exhale. Good, keep going, inhale, and exhale. And go ahead and follow along with me. We've got five more. I like to use my arms, or you can just work on rolling those shoulders. This feels really nice, especially if you're already tight. Last one. Next one's also a neck exercise or neck stretch. So you can put your chin to your chest, right ear to right shoulder, gently with your right hand pulled down. Make sure you have space in between your ear and your shoulder, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch on the other side. Gonna breathe in and exhale. You can hold this for 10 seconds. Perfect. Go ahead back to neutral, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Make sure you have space in between your ear and your shoulder. Go ahead and gently come down, pressing down. You're going to feel a nice stretch through that neck. And we're going to hold here as we're breathing in and out for 10 seconds. Good, all right. Another one that I like to do is for my uh, shoulders and lats. So we're gonna go ahead and act like we're bridging. So bring our fingers, cross them together, pressing out and over, or you can do a regular. However, if I really like the bridge, I really feel that stretch all the way through my arm and go over to this side and other side. This eight more times. Feel a nice stretch all the way through. Good. We've got two more here. All right, let's go ahead, since we're on the computer a lot, let's stretch out our forearms here. So including the thumb, go ahead and with your right hand, press those fingers back a little bit, feel that nice stretch through that forearm. And we're gonna hold it here for about 10 seconds. Perfect. And now we're gonna flip the hand on over and we're gonna get the top of that arm here. Hold for about 10 seconds. Nice job. And then roll the wrist each direction. Perfect. If you ever need to pause the video to do a little stretch a little bit longer, you can. There is not a problem with stretching for a little bit longer. Perfect. And then roll in the rest. We do have a calf stretch that we're gonna do, calf of the hamstring. So we're gonna stand up here. We're gonna take the right leg forward. You can do the seated if you'd like to, but it's good to get the blood flowing through the legs. Let's go ahead, we're gonna hinge forward. So slight bending both knees, hinging forward with a flat back. 
toes are going to be pointed so that way you can feel that stretch through the calf and hamstring. Now, if you do say, um, have like either like a belt or a band, you can place that around where the toes are at and pull even closer to you for a deeper stretch. Or if you can touch your toes, you can bring it closer to you. So you're just gonna hold here for about 10 seconds and then switch to the other side. Perfect. And then hold here for about 10 seconds. You don't wanna hyperextend uh, the ligaments in your knee, so do make sure that you have them slightly bent. And then you're gonna do a quad stretch here. So with the right leg, make sure they were coming straight back, okay? Try not to do the, you know, the cross over here because that can put uh, pressure on the ligaments of the knee and that's not good. Uh, you also wanna try and make sure that your knees are coming together. If this is a little too much for you, you can go ahead and utilize your chair to kind of help lengthen out that quad muscle. And then after your 10 seconds, let's go ahead and switch to the other side, whether it's here or here. And breathe in through that stretch. And then the last one that is my favorite is the figure four. And you can do this in your chair, you can do this standing. I'll show you both variations. You can hold on to your desk if you'd like to. Bring your right ankle to your left knee, and then you're going to sit back on it. Or you can do it seated. Same thing, and then you're hinging forward. You're going to really open up those hips. Hold for 10 seconds. And then switching to the other side. 10 second hold. Make sure you're breathing through it. There you go. Wonderful. Thank you for joining me today.